Welcome to week 22, June 1, 2012 of Boats on TV's World on Water, your weekly roundup of all the top news and action from around the world of boating. Last week, we showcased the Everest of racing, the gruelling Vendée Globe. This week, we show the Europa warm-up, which serves as the essential final major event before November's start to the solo Vendée Globe race around the world. It is the last competitive chance to match up against a group of like-minded Vendée Globe rivals, to measure performance across a course which should deliver a useful variety of relevant wind and sea conditions. It was as close a finish as many would have wished for, just over seven minutes separating first-placed Verbeck Paprik 3 and third-placed PRB. Jean-Pierre Dick's crew, with back-to-back -back Route de Rum winner Roland Jourdain among them, led all the way down the Mediterranean, only to surrender their lead to PRB at the gateway to the Atlantic, the Strait of Gibraltar. But during the last 24 hours of the 800-mile first stage, which started in Barcelona, Verbeck Paprik 3 fought back to hold a tiny lead over Francois Jabat and crew on Makif, with Vincent Rios PRB taking third. Crossing the finishing line in Cascais, Portugal at 20 hours, 44 minutes, 17 seconds CET on May 23. Verbeck Paprik 3 one legged one of the Europa warm-up in an elapsed time of 4 days, 3 hours, 44 minutes, 17 seconds. Makif finished at 20 hours, 50 minutes, 29 seconds and PRB finished only 53 seconds behind them in third place. In the qualifying races of the first Alpari World Match Racing Tour, Peter Gilmore, Phil Robertson and Laurie Jury each had the upper hand in their quarterfinals at Match Race Germany, where they are bidding to join Pierre-Antoine Morvan, France, in the semi-finals. Morvan and Phil Robertson, New Zealand, of Wacker Racing, were both on the brink of reaching the final, each skipper holding only 2-0 leads against Laurie Jury, New Zealand, Kiwi Match, and Peter Gilmore, Australia, Yanmar Racing, respectively. However, spirited fightbacks by their opponents set up for a nervous finish, with the scores locked on 2-2. Everything rested on the fifth and final flight. It was an intense finish to a day in which the tactical skills of all the teams were tested in light and fickle winds. Eventually, Phil Robertson faced fellow Kiwi Laurie Jury in the final of Match Race Germany, the first event of the Alpari World Match Racing Tour, after a thrilling conclusion to the semi-finals in which both matches went to final flight sudden death. Phil Robertson's Wacker Racing Team then triumphed in Match Race Germany, the opening event on the 2012 Alpari World Match Racing Tour after taking victory against Laurie Jury in an All-Kiwi Final in Langenagen. In this week's Fresh to Frightening, we look at the official United States Coast Guard cruise footage of the dramatic yacht crew rescue during Hurricane Gordon in 1994. Do you think this is safe, or do you think they're better on the boat? Keep low. The woman in major is clear of water. Clear moves back and left. Clear moves back and left. Thank God. Clear moves back and left. They're coming up. I'm bringing them up slow. Bring them up slow. Hold, hold altitude. Hold altitude. Bring them up slow. Basket's halfway up. It's swinging pretty good. Hold. They're still about 10 feet below the cabin. Okay, I'm bringing no them up rush, slow. No rush, we got the main on board. Roger. Bring them up slow. Bring them up slow. How's the gas? Okay, hey, we got uh, 2990 right at 3000. Okay. So we're doing good. We've got another half hour or about 20 minutes on the scene. Okay. I have swarm inside, so don't worry about it, Bob. Dan, Roger, you look I'm back bring, I'm not bringing them in back first. I want to bring them in face first because that's the way I'm going to get good. it around the, around the tank. Okay, I'm bringing them up. I'm bringing them in. The 27th edition of the World Festival on the Beach featured the Windsurf World Festival, founded in 1974, and it landed in Palermo in 1985 and was renamed to World Festival on the Beach in 2001. Every year there is an international championship organised at the beautiful waters of Mondello. This year it was the European team racing for RSX and Big Technos. 
After lunch, the sailors hit the water and filled the beautiful Gulf of Mondello for the last day. First started the RSX and then it was time for the big technos. Next in line were the Hobie Cat 16 that seemed to enjoy the breezy conditions more than anyone and had their catamarans flying a hull. After one race for each class, the wind died completely and the sailors went ashore to wait for the wind to pick up again. In the RSX class, Federico Esposito from Italy climbed on the top of the leaderboard, leaving in second place his compatriot Ricardo Bellidelisca and Argentina's Julian Lopez Becker in third. Italy's Alessandra Sensini managed to be in the top 10 and beat many of the men that were racing with a bigger sail than her. She easily claimed the first place in women in front of Jessica Crisp from Australia, who finished second. The podium was completed with Angela Polodorova from Russia. In the big techno class, Baptiste Carissen continued France's good performance after their win in team racing and claimed victory also in the fleet racing. In second place was Eugenie Avazan from Russia and his compatriot Andrzej Zeganov in third. Instead of a commercial sponsor, the TP52 Super Series is being backed by the funding of three of the competitors, Quantum Racing's Doug DeVos, RAN's Nicholas Zenstrom and Arti Azura Sailing Team's Alberto Romas. The first of the four event series, the 39th Trofeo Conde de Godo, was held last week in Barcelona, Spain. It will be followed by the Audi Sardinia Cup in June at the Yacht Club Costa Smeralda, then Palma Mallorca will host the Royal Cup in July, and in September the 52 Super Series will be finishing up in Valencia with the Valencia Cup. Five 52s competed in last week's event. With two wins and a second from three starts, Audi Azura Sailing Team opened their 2012 campaign on a near-perfect footing. Nicholas Sendstrom's RAN won the third race and was second overall. Then after five races, not only did the top two boats share the same nine-point aggregate, but the new Azura and Quantum Racing actually had identical score lines: Two wins apiece, two second places and a third. On the penultimate day, two race wins in a diminishing complicated sea breeze elevated Quantum Racing to top the overall leaderboard. There was no racing on the last day and Quantum Racing were crowned winners of the 52 Super Series first regatta. Winning on countback from the Audi Azura sailing team, then came Ram, Gladiator and Audi sailing team powered by All For One. Australian sailors have won three medals on the final day of racing at round five of the ISAF Sailing World Cup in Medemblik, Holland. Crystal Weir won gold in the laser radial class with Jessica Crisp claiming the RSX women's silver and bronze in the sonar class going to Colin Harrison, Stephen Cherm and Jonathan Harris. Weir surpassed the Croatian Tina Mihilek second and the French Mathilde de Karingit on the leaderboard. The Delta Lloyd regatta produced a victory for the home crowd. Rudger van Schattenberg was the strongest competitor in the laser class. The Finn class produced a victory for the American Caleb Payne, who also won the final medal race. On the leaderboard, he stayed ahead of the Swedish Bjorn Allensen second and the Russian Alexei Silinikov. Surprisingly, the 470 class was won by the Irish Gur Owens and Scott Flanagan. They benefited from a false start by the New Zealand duo Paul Snow Hansen and Jason Saunders in the last race. The Italian Flavia Tartaglini also gave a surprising performance on the last day to win. The Australian Jessica Crisp even pulled into second place and Hayley Chan finished third. The final victory for the men's windsurfing RSX was already established on Friday. The Israeli Shahar Zubari was already secure before the medal race. Well, that's all for this week. Join us next Friday for our global roundup of everything that's happening and exciting on the world on water. I'm Sarah McAvenna for Boats on TV.